Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to today's video. My name is Cosmina and if you're new here, please consider to subscribe. We are on our way to 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and I would really love for you to join this little makeup family. In today's video, we're gonna go and discuss about my number one products for certain um, makeup brands because I have a variety of makeup brands in my collection. I have drugstore, I have um, high-end, I have luxury. Well, I consider them luxury, but they're more like high-end. So I know that I usually go for more high-end products, but I have a mixed in this in today's view, uh, review. So let's start it. So let's go with primers first because the primer that I have right here is this one from Milk and this is the Hydro Grip. I have not tried this until this year and I fell in love with it. I really do like it. I am going to put it in the corner right here, um, the try on portion so you can see how it went on my skin. But I really do enjoy this one and I love the way it looks under any type of foundation. I tried it with a bunch of foundations and I really did enjoy it. So this is a really nice uh amazing product from milk i got some other things from milk like the cream blushes and also the mascara but this one is definitely my favorite now a foundation that i'm not sure i talked about before or even if, if i did then i talked a little briefly i didn't i didn't touch on it too much but this is this foundation and this foundation is from Physicians Formula. This is the Healthy Foundation. I tried this one last year in the spring and I really did enjoy it. It's a really nice foundation. This is what I consider a really dupe of for the uh, Fenty Beauty, the East Drop, because this one is kind of the same. It looks the same on the skin. It feels the same on the skin. Um, I would say the Fenty one has a tiny bit more moisture to it. But this one is really beautiful and I really love it. Unfortunately, it's starting to disappear in the stores, which is a little bit annoying. But I have mine in MN3, which I think it's the perfect color for me. Um, I used MN4 before as well, but... I think MN3 is where it should be. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing. And you can you can this you can put more if you want a little bit more coverage, or you can if you want something a little bit more natural looking, then you can let leave it a little bit more sheer. You know what I mean? Now for concealer, I went with this Boeing Benefit from Bo Benefit, the Cakeless Concealer. So Benefit is a, a brand that I'm not, I haven't tried a lot from. Um, I tried a few brow things, which was like, eh. I tried a blush that was like, eh. Well, Benefit, I don't know if it's necessarily my cup of tea um, but this this concealer is a really really nice one and I really do enjoy it it looks really beautiful on the under the eyes it blends really beautifully it works with a lot of powders as well it's not drying it is ruminating I like it I really do like it I I think this is a really nice concealer um, uh, the powder that I decided to go with today is the powder that I have a huge pan in it and this is from revolution pro this is the cc perfecting press powder and i have mine in warm maple uh warm maple this is how big the pan is i only have a little bit left in there and i have tried a bunch of things from revolution revolution is an interesting brand i mean they have a many other brands in it but what i have to say there's some eyeshadows that are really good there's some um brow products that they have that i don't enjoy as well the foundation i didn't quite enjoy it as much but this powder is really nice i have to say um it looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin it does set everything but also it's like it, it almost invisible it blurs in the same time and it keeps your skin looking fresh looking 
healthy, you know, it's not very powdery or drying. So I really like this powder and I think this is a really good price one as well. Really good price. Now for the bronzer, I decided to go with e.l.f. So I would say I tried a lot of things from e.l.f. And uh, definitely this is my favorite. This bronzer is beautiful beautiful on the skin i also like the color is such such a pretty color this is in constantly bronzed i just uh, i i can't say anything this is the the one with the primer underneath it or something like that this is such a beautiful and it glides on the face like amazing amazing this is an amazing product now for blush i went with Hourglass. I have a bunch of things from Hourglass. I love the powders from Hourglass. I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, but I do have to say that the blush, I like it a little bit better than the bronzer and the other one that you put under the eyes. It's a beautiful color, very easy to blend, very natural, soothing, beautiful look on the skin. Good. This is a good one. Very, very good. Now, for highlighter, I decided to go with Jaclyn Hill. I have mine in Amp. This is the loose highlighter. I bought this a long time ago. Not right now when she released it, but a long time ago when she released it the very, very first time. And I said even then, this is one of my favorite highlighters. It is such a beautiful, natural look on it. And I really do enjoy it. I think her highlighters are nice these ones but she has a lot of them way too many way too many <laughs> now for lips for lips i have to say i don't think i ever talked about this but my favorite products from charlotte tilbury is this one and this is the lip lip balm or something so this is the lip a lip plump uh in pillow talk i i it's just weird because I, when I tried this for the first time, I was like, mm, it's okay, it feels a little bit minty, it's nice, not, not too bad, right? But this is perfect. Perfect if you have really dry lips. When you add this on, usually I try to add this on, if I remember, before I start a video or right when I started. So I have my lips a little bit more ready for a lipstick to put on but it is such a nice product and is definitely my favorite thing and i have a lot of things from um charlotte tilbury which i like but this is trust me this is a must have like this for those people that really have problems with dry lips and i am one of those people this is the way to go because it's gonna moisturize and it's gonna soften your lips instantly instantly it's it's a really good thing for lip pencil i went with this one this is from wayne goss and this is the essential lip pencil and i have mine in sepia it's a really nice product i really like it it's more like in the natural uh color but it's such a pretty color and i really love it for my skin tone and then for lipstick i decided to go with pat mcgrath and i have this in omi this is such a beautiful color as well i really do enjoy it i feel like a lot of people talk about her eyeshadows but not a lot of people talk about her lipsticks like her bullet lipsticks because they are amazing the the way they look on the lips the way they stay on the lips because they do stay on the lips for a while and um I really like it. I literally like it. It's not a drying formula whatsoever. It is not too matte. It's not too shiny. It's somewhere in between. This is a really nice uh, lipstick. For the eyeshadow palette, this is not necessarily a favorite, but I really purchased this really uh, last week and I really wanted to play with a little bit more to see how it is. I do like how the the look turned out to be but I don't I can't call it a favorite from Nomad because this is the only product that I have from Nomad and I haven't tried anything else from it but this is how it looks 
such a pretty color right such a pretty look and such a pretty um eyeshadow palette now for the liner i decided to go with blink and this is the um gray eyeliner I love this gray eyeliner. I know it looks a little bit more black than gray, but I really do like it. And it's very easy for me to create streak-free eye. I streak-free liner. <laughs> and then uh, next in here, I have mascara. The mascara that I want with is the KKW one, and I have it right here. I would have to say the things that I have from KKW, because I have a few things, this is definitely my favorite. Next will have to be the lip liner, and third will have to be that powder that you put underneath it, the illuminating powder. So, um, and at the end, I decided to put a little bit of a spray on my face from ColourPop. This is a really nice one. This is the Pretty Fresh one, and there you have it. This is all the things that I had um, that I thought they need to be talked about because I don't I don't feel like a lot of people talk about these products and they're such a beautiful gorgeous products I mean like look at my face look how beautiful it looks look at that such gorgeous gorgeous makeup some of them it's a little bit better price some of them is a little bit a little higher in there but None of these are having like really crazy high prices. Are you ready for the phrase of the day? All right, so phrase of the day, I'm gonna do one that is a little bit more comical, but that is Nyam de Nyamul to na avut asha cheva. This is a long phrase. Okay, so let's take it from the go. Nam de Namul to na avut asha cheva. So what it means, nobody in your nation ever had such thing. But we usually, this is what we use in my family a lot. And it's more like you used to say that I want up you, you know what I mean? Um, I would say the translation doesn't do it. <laughs> the, you don't quite understand it, what it try to say. Is, but mostly the way we try to say it is like nobody in your family ever reached this level. That's how I would translate it. Not It's not the same word, but yeah, that's what I would uh, translate it. And it's always used to just make a little bit of fun of each other, you know. And it's like we always say, you know, um, for example, if I go to, if I went, when I went to, uh, Hawaii, I, I told my dad, you know, nobody in your family ever reached my level. Yana. <laughs> but that is just, um, a comic little thing, you know, just to kind of laugh on each other because basically we're part of the same family. So if I did, he did too. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's a funny thing, but yeah, this is what I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for being here. I cannot wait to see you all next time. Bye now.